Thinking about applying for another PPP loan, the first thing I want you to do is check with your bank that you got the first round of PPP with and see if they are accepting applications or if they will be accepting applications for PPP2. Most of the banks that participated the first time around are going to participate the second time, but some are not. So you want to make sure that you have a bank lined up before you, you know, assume that they're going to take applications and then you, you get left you know, potentially not having a bank to help you out. So if your bank is not, you could go and look for potential other local businesses, I mean, local banks, or you could do online lenders. There's a lots of people who are still helping with this process. Um, you know, and if you were really unhappy with your bank the first time around, it might be time to go and try to find a different, a different, um, lender to help you out this time. Um, Second is to know if you qualify for that revenue and decline, revenue decline, you know, do that calculation, make sure that you are able to apply for this money and then go ahead and uh, calculate your loan amounts. So like we said, pull the information, compare 2019 to 2020, see which amount gives you a higher payroll cost and determine what you want to ask for. So you, you know, whatever your loan amount is, you don't have to take your maximum loan amount. So if you're if you're planning to lay a bunch of people off or you're planning to close your business or you, you have some kind of, um, you know, you know that you're not going to be able to spend the money. You don't have to take your maximum amount. You can take less than your max. OK, you can't take more than your max, but you can take less. <laughs> um, all right. And then have a plan to spend the money. So this is kind of one of the big things. One of the big things I was pushing when PPP came out is, you know, make sure you are being strategic about planning your money and how you're going to use it, forecast out what you're going to be spending on payroll, and then think through that so that you don't get left holding the bag at the end of the day. Okay. That we want this money because it's essentially free if it gets forgiven.